must carry on. <laughs> Turn up your uh, YouTube audio. So I think oh, we're we live. Oh, there we go. Okay. Live now. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Boom. All right. Okay. I have turned off. <gasps> nope. <laughs> How far back we are, but I think we're there. There's like a an FCC delay. <laughs> How do you mute this? <laughs> oh, there's about a 20 second delay. Yeah. It's like I'm talking to astronauts. So I'm not going to look at the screen. I'm just going to read the chat. All right. Like a, an FCC delay. <laughs> How do you mute well, hello, everyone. <laughs> Fancy meeting you guys here. Is that? <laughs> All right, guys. Can you hear me? Yep. Welcome. Thank you. It took a while to get that solved, but uh, this is Vahography Talk number 18. Wow. Number 18. Chris Stublu in the house. You guys know Chris? <laughs> yes our, i do know him a guest of honor today is eric snyder, eric What's snyder. Up, eric? hello hello <laughs> how you doing boys like... good good yeah it's uh man it took a while huh chris it's, it's all your fault man i know i know it's this utah connection here <laughs> We're we are Utah is 20 seconds behind everywhere else. <laughs> it's a bummer. By may I just say, Vahagen, you are looking hot, you're looking sexy. It's working, dude. I, I no, man, I haven't even done anything yet. I can see the results. I'm proud of you, bud. This is I, hard work. I'm proud of you. Now, this week I cheated, man. Oh, <gasps> did you eat it like Chick fil A? <laughs> Taco Bell. Oh my God! Oh. What do you get from the TB? What do you get from Taco Bell? I'll tell you my, I'll tell you my obsession. A number three. What is that? I'm not a uh, computer. I don't know what number three is. <laughs> Burrito Supreme, Taco Supreme, and a soda. Mm. <laughs> Funny that that you remember that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but uh, thanks, Chris. Uh, it's hard work, but uh, it really you know. is. I, uh, I I hope you know that it's it is it definitely shows. It's paying off. You look great. I haven't done nothing yet, but thank you, Eric. I haven't, you've been doing three weeks. Yeah, but this week doesn't count. This week sucks. <laughs> Everyone give a round of applause to the Bahagan. <laughs> <laughs> so, Eric, what's Dude, happening, man? Not much. Just had a nice, relaxing day. Doing some uh, drive around and taking some pictures for myself. Nice. So I want to welcome in Eric. Uh, tell our viewers a little bit something about you your photography and uh where you from and what type of photography you love shooting um well i i'm living in uh new hampshire right now uh but been uh spending a lot of time traveling around doing a lot of different landscape photography the winter time up here uh in uh, new england is a little bit slower uh we we don't get that beautiful weather you have out there in la i'm, I'm sure chris knows uh, that that snow you guys get awful yeah uh, well it's we, awful right now yeah, we just got like two feet of snow a couple weeks ago so you know i'm kind of jealous we haven't had much snow here and it's killing me oh really yeah um but yeah when i do get a chance and when it is nice um i definitely enjoy um going to the beach and shooting uh swimwear uh swim nice um trying to move more towards the commercial end of that and uh the commercial end of fashion and commercial work as well yeah uh man i i was checking out your work thank you uh i'm gonna ask you a lot about that <laughs> yes. so if you guys are not familiar with eric's work check him out eric snyder instagram let's let me go ahead and show, show the audience a little bit some samples and uh which is like pointing things you point this oh, hold on hold on guys let's see <laughs> Let's see if I remember how to do this. Uh, Is it share screen or show screen? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, it was the share screen. Oh, share screen in the green. Look at you. Share screen in the green. 
Yeah. Hold on. Um, is it? No, it's not, right? No. Uh, here we go. Oops. Yeah, microphone. Like, you guys got this thing going on here? Hold on. Yeah, it's a hell of a delay, isn't it? That's yeah, it is. You can say the George Carlin swear words. You don't know who that is, but... <laughs> Yep, that's what it sounded like. There were seven words that you couldn't say. And I can't wait to teach you every one of them. <laughs> My video looks blurry. Or is it just me? Oh, oh, yes. All right, guys. So check this out. Ah, I love it. <laughs> so, Eric. Um, what a beautiful picture. My goodness. I want to ask you about your photography. Uh, you do a lot of the modeling stuff, I see. Yep. yep. And uh, how how do you like? Is it word of mouth? Are you how long you've been doing this type of photography? Um. Well, first, it's a lot. Of, a lot of it's word of mouth. Um, it it uh been doing it full time for about nine, going on ten years. Uh. A nice. lot of, uh, a lot of, um, I probably started this doing this type of photography, like the one year few you were going through probably about nine years ago, but just kind of went full throttle about five years ago. Nice. So, Beautiful. yeah. Um, this is very nice window light here. Are you Nikon shooter through and through, or do you mix in camera models? I am. It's funny. I actually, my very first camera was a uh, Fuji film. It was a Fuji, I want to say S5000. It looked like a DSLR, so I thought it looked cool. <laughs> so it looked like the lens would come off. I think this was probably like 18 years ago. <laughs> um, so I, lens that, will come uh, off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it will come off now. So uh, look at that. That was the only camera I had that wasn't a Nikon. My, my friend of mine gave me a Nikon uh, D70. And um, he said it didn't work and he just got it. And apparently there was a, a service warranty on it. So it cost me $18 to ship it to Nikon and they fixed it for free. And wow. that's where it started. <laughs> yeah, Man, that's is, great. This is phenomenal. You have a way with your models. Oh, thank you. They, um, I do get a lot of compliments um, after a lot of the shoots that they, they come, everybody comes in always uh, nervous. They don't know what, what to expect first time probably doing a photo shoot like that um and at the end of the shoot they're absolutely amazed at how um comfortable and fun it was um their expectations were very high or very very much exceeded that's amazing that's great so <clears throat> when like uh when is your next shoot coming up like or oh, when do you plan to shoot like this again uh saturday i have two of them okay would you like, would you walk through part of what your workflow is like uh, from start to finish? Uh, it's kind of, it's kind of, um, it's kind of hard. I don't, it's, I've never really thought of it, but typically it would start with um, the model or the client showing up uh, for hair and makeup, usually about an hour and a half prior to me starting the shoot. And during that whole time um, I'm either setting up the set or kind of getting to know the model or the client. Uh, as the hair makeup artist is kind of getting to know her as well. Um, and then after that, it's usually starting out with something fun, something comfortable, um, something casual to get in front of the camera and have fun with. To uh, You just don't want to start somebody in front of the camera that's never been in front of the camera. Um, <laughs> it's just they're uncomfortable in the first place. So um, starting them out with just some uh, fun attire is always fun, and always, always easy to do. Um, wait, wait, wait! Let me, let me cut, uh, hold your thought. How did you get this horse in the shot? <laughs> I walked him in the water. Wow! <laughs> um, so in Turks and Caicos, they have a place down there. Those are um, those horses are um, adopted, and they're so incredibly uh, well behaved and trained. Um, so we rented them for like a few hours. Uh, there was six models and five photographers down there in Turks and Caicos. And that guy there, that's Turtle. Um, he was so well behaved. He would just sit there as she would just hold him just like that. It was that easy. I love it. That's oh, awesome. That's... 
There it's funny. Go. Every 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 single photo has a story, and I, I like that. Look at that photo is worth a thousand words. Oh, look! She's holding a Hasselblad. Yeah, that's right. Oh, is that there. yours? Or yeah, hers? it's mine. It's mine. <laughs> oh, it's right over your shoulder there. I like it. Okay. <laughs> oh, that still awesome. works. Nineteen seventy-two. I don't know. It's old. <laughs> That's great, man. So you, you, know, you were saying about the setting up and, and uh, your work, uh, your procedure when you're about to shoot. Uh, the oh, yeah. yeah. Um, usually just get comfortable doing a first set, just having fun with it. Um, and then after that, it's um, I do a lot of directing. So it's kind of hard to kind of say what my workflow is during the shoot, uh, because every single one is always different. It's always okay. never the same. Um, like I said, some people have been in front of a camera before and they're very comfortable some aren't and it takes a little bit more coaching and a little bit more directing to get them uh I hate i keep using the word comfortable but it, it gets them uh in a little bit more relaxed okay mm. what are some of your techniques to to help get relaxed to help uh build rapport or or is it something that just naturally comes to you uh it's a lot of jokes or making fun about myself okay good yes <laughs> Basically, if, um, if you can make fun about yourself and laugh about it, everyone else is going to laugh about it. So uh, I'm very easy, light going. Um, I don't I don't require my clients. I don't require a lot out of them, um, just as long as they they take direction and listen to how I um, pose them. Uh, I always assure them that the images are going to come out phenomenal as long as they um, just follow direction. Nice. I have a I have a shoot coming up in March, March 6th, that is going to be of this type. And I'm very excited. Oh, wow. Really? Everything's been. Oh, yeah. Everything has changed. The last time I had a shoot like this was March 2020, 2020. Wow. And, you know, with the pandemic and everything, I mean, it just it slowed everything down so much. And then I just started working just on my YouTube stuff. And I don't do this kind of stuff on YouTube. And so. <laughs> oh, yeah. And so uh, I'll be reconnecting, I guess I'll be re. Uh, kind of throwing myself back into it and i'm very excited but i find myself that i'm a little nervous myself like i i'm a little jittery like uh yeah i'm a, I'm a bit nervous uh um, do you ever feel that anxiety every single shoot i won't lie um there isn't a there isn't a photo shoot that i that i do that i don't go into feeling anxious or nervous about because i don't know the person i don't know the client right. that well um i've ever probably have met them prior to it maybe once or talked to them um, so it's getting to know a whole different personality every single time someone comes in. So, um, that's the nervousness, but as soon as I, I would say just a, probably within the first five minutes of meeting somebody, uh, I just feel a lot more comfortable knowing them and that anxiety, um, and the anxiousness goes right away. And I already know in back of my head, what we're going to do. So that just kind of helps, um, get my mind focused, uh, as to which way we're going to go. I'm gonna turn my phone is that, is, is that, um, you know, you heard that saying where you're Clark Kent uh, and then you become Superman with the camera. No, I wouldn't say Superman. I just have a good, I have a lot of fun. With it. it is fun. <laughs> it is very fun work. I it's a, a very, uh, very social kind of work, you know, and uh, yeah, Chris, I saw your uh, BTS. You did a BTS in U downtown Utah. Yeah, I saw that video. We call that Salt Lake City. You better do another. You better do another BTS on this one. Oh, uh, yeah. sure. <laughs> I'm th uh, half of that. Yes. <laughs> I love watching you work, man. It was awesome. Uh, thank you, thank you. Yeah. I uh, I was so envious uh, to take the spotlight off of Eric here for a second, but uh, oh, no. for you to break out your new 600 millimeter, I just uh. <laughs> I was sitting here and I was like salivating. I was like, oh, what? what couldn't you shoot with that you know <laughs> yeah well it was a magic trick dude there's no 600 it was like you know it was hocus pocus last night <laughs> don't tell me that don't tell me that I'm, don't break I'm, my heart i'm just kidding <laughs> no. so what do you plan to shoot with it what uh me what, yeah what, what's just pure pleasure yeah yeah pure pleasure <laughs> nothing to do with events obviously but hey maybe i'd go to beverly hills and uh drive around and do be like a peeping Tom, you know, <laughs> celebrity windows, get, get a house map Rattis. of all the celebrities and try to be a paparazzi for one day. Hey, you know, these paparazzis, they got cheap ass lenses. 
Imagine you, sh- you show up to a shoot like that, or I call it a shoot, but <laughs> <laughs> a photo shoot. No, but you show up to an, a gig like that and you pop up, you pop open a, a professional lens that's used at the Olympics. It's like, what the hell are you doing? You know, <laughs> imagine the shit I can get done with that. Put a slap a two times teleconverter on there. Oh, <laughs> that would, I, man, you'd get the rings of Saturn with the teleconverter on there. That's pretty cool. I posted in the, our chat real quick. Um, it's a link if you wanted to see the landscape stuff, because a lot of the stuff you see is um, what you see is on Instagram, uh, Instagram and, and my social media. Um, but there's also another side of me that enjoys other outs other parts of photography as well so. well oh, let's yeah. talk let's let's talk about that what do you share, can you share it on the screen or well um on the chat in our in our in our little free box thing here we we got um i shared it in our chat i don't know if you can see it but um i'm yes. trying to figure out where i can share it oh actually you know what? i could share, share oh my screen. god this is beautiful sure in the chat chat room I haven't no share the screen actually chat are we, uh, will I be all right? To, oh, New York City. Yeah, let yeah. me see. If Chris oh, Hagen, do you want me to share? Yes, sh- share the screen like I did. Here. Okay. Here we go. And here we go. Oh, dear. <laughs> what have I done? Oh, oh, dear. All right. Are we seeing this? This is, uh, this is Eric's work. Look at this. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, nice. Oh, my God. So this, this is the side of you that I don't know. Yes. Wow. I saw the drone there behind you. Do you fly that often? Very. I, I flew it today. Um, I was just showing him earlier the, a shot I took up, up up north of some mountains in the snow. Um, everywhere yeah. I go, I take it. I have to. Uh, Chuck from AP Studios asks, how did you get into swimsuit modeling, model shooting? Um, a, a lot of it just kind of fell into it but i i enjoy being at the beach um so why not put swim through photography and and where i where i enjoy being at the most the beach uh together and it just seemed to fit so what uh, that's the one genre uh i've been doing the most since i've started 12 13 years ago nice hey by the way this is eric's work right here this is his travel work and and wow you do some birding too huh and that too can Oh, that was amazing. That was a beautiful morning. <laughs> hey, by the way, guys, uh, I want to welcome everybody that's here. Hello, everyone. Agnetha, Chuck, Charles Miller, Roy, all of you guys, uh, you know, ask Eric any question you want. He's a professional working photographer. If you want to be, you know, if you're inspiring to be a model photographer, swimsuit, you can ask him questions. He's a real working pro and he's he's. He does it for a living, so this is your chance. Uh, always, uh, always answering questions. I got. I'm always up for that. Was this well, taken with a drone here? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, okay. No. Um, so I have a, a friend of mine that flies for a, a company in New York City. Um, fly New York, and um, he liked the work we were doing, so he said, "I'm going to take you on a few spots that um, I don't normally take a lot of people." So. He let me he took me a few of those spots where you can get all the bridges oh. in the whole entire island uh, in one shot. So I was very happy. Wow. I'm so jealous. This is so cool. <laughs> Basically, yeah. you just fly with the doors off and you have your feet hanging out the door. That would terrify the hell out of me. Yeah, and I, that's a that's a canon photographer trick there. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you using on these shots? What's the camera? Uh, this one was my. Uh, this shot was the Z62 with the 24 to 70. Ah, uh, F4? I uh, don't remember, but I believe I had it set all pretty higher up because. Um, oh, which which lens, the, which version of the 24? Oh, the 2.8. Oh, the big boy. Sorry. That's what you're viewing me through right now. Hello. <laughs> you have that lens too? I have, well, I have my old F mount. Ah, okay. On my Z62. Uh, okay, okay. Well, I can't afford I, the, <laughs> well, the thing is, is the one you're seeing here with those New York photos is with the Z mount, or not with the Z mount lens. That is the one with the DSR lens uh, with the F to Z mount on the Z62. Um, let me know if I'm going too fast. Not at all. <laughs> Jody. Um, oh, go for it. I, go for oh, it. Sorry. And I actually had a friend of mine put 
uh, something in my camera bag and I picked it up and that lens fell out of my camera <gasps> bag and it jammed at 24 millimeters. So <laughs> I was bummed, but it also gave me another reason to get the new Z 24 to 70. So they gave me $50, $75 for that lens. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if this lens could talk, right? <laughs> it, it, hey, listen, I shot it for an entire event at 24 millimeters and every single shot was in focus and sharp. Love it. <laughs> oh, look at this. this is gorgeous. I'm freaking out. This is so cool. Wow. No, Jody asked, is this with a drone? No, right? This is yeah, he was on a helicopter. Yeah. 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 It was a helicopter. But he but asked, what kind of drone you be using and how long did it take you to get 107 permit? Did you learn drone first or? test first oh he's not shooting with the drone and i'm not sure if he flies drones um well, one today no i do okay. I've, i've been flying drones my youtube channel is just you is just um a handful of youtube uh drone photos or videos but um i literally take it everywhere i go i took it today and i wish i could send you the video that i just finished editing um it's it just looks amazing in 4k Yeah, you guys see the chat too, right? Um, I don't just, but that's just because I'm sharing okay. the screen right now. I do, but I was just looking at the uh, screen. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> which drone are you flying right now? Like, which one did you fly today? The Mavic 2 Pro. A bigger pardon? I didn't hear you. The DJI Mavic 2 Pro. Oh, okay. Damn, that's what I got. That's. <laughs> I actually was thinking about offloading mine and uh, getting into a new one, but oh, that's so cool. Everything you'll see on this uh, website where this landscape stuff is, everything except for New York City was done with a drone. Um, the only problem is you can't fly uh, in New York City without right. particular special privileges and permit. Um, so, and I have no desire to try it. <laughs> oh, no <laughs> kidding. Chuck you want to talk about anxiety <laughs> flying yeah. that thing? Yeah. I Chuck flew mine D &H. in Little Ogden and I about died. Wow, look at this. Those are taken with the drone as well, and some. Oh. Of them. Wait, what do you? What is this? The ocean, right? Yeah. Yep. That's I started crazy. started shooting that with the drone. Um, I figured I'm going to give it a shot because I know you can do it with the camera. So I tried with the drone to give it a little different perspective, and that's what I did. Yeah, but uh, this can, is next level. Can you tell us how you did this? Because it looks yeah, like yeah, a yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, so basically, the 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 technique is panning. Um, as you're like, if you were having a camera on a tripod, you would just start just like this, typically uh, no longer than one second, because once you go over one second, it kind of doesn't look right. Um, you just start the, you just start the movement. If you have a, a remote, you just start and click it. That's what you would do if you had your camera on a tripod. If you wanted to have it on the drone, like these shots here, um, I found out the hard way. You can't just do that with a drone by sitting there and making it go left and right like this. Um, okay. Because what the drone wants to do is give you the most sharpest image possible. So as soon as you hit that trigger, it just stops and it won't give you this look that you're seeing there. Okay. So what I had to figure out was what if I just went left and right at full speed with a shutter speed somewhere less than a second and try to keep it level? And this is the results. <laughs> nice. I was waiting for you to be like, well, I just held my drone by hand and just went like this. <laughs> so there's no uh there's no Photoshop. Um that's all basically wow. photo. Yep. Chuck, did you shot would be the colors, that's about it. Hey, wow. Chuck, did you see your house too from those New York shots? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Greg Corker asks, what shutter speed is required to have sharp images in a helicopter? Uh I I kept mine up somewhere around and it's got to be quick i had it around a thousand to sixteen hundred um if i had the video or if i had the photos handy then i would probably do that but i don't have them handy dude look at this wave i'm so jealous i want to hang out with you eric that was last week <laughs> last week yeah. you know what i was doing last week jack and shit <laughs> <laughs> yeah. by the way uh eric uh Yeah. Chris is uh, law enforcement. Oh, thank you. Do we have any law breaking going on here, guys? Does that change the conversation here? Nope. All right. No, I'm, uh, everything's legal here. All right. Uh, I, respect, I respect you guys, man. Great. No I, uh, problem, Greg. I was in the military for eight years and I did uh, law enforcement with the uh, 
with the Navy security force for four years. So. Really? So were you, uh, were you a sailor then when you were, no, I was a, I was an air airman. Um, I worked, uh, I just messed up my screen. Um, I was, uh, I worked on aircraft F-14s and F-18s. So, um, we were stationed on shore. So when, when the ship went out, we would go out with them, um, probably two or three times a year, but then we'd do a six month tour, uh, over to the Mediterranean. Oh, that's a cool shot. So you, hey Chuck, he, he's military too. Chuck's yeah, Chuck military. was a soldier too. Yeah, that's cool. Man, that's cool. Wow, this is gorgeous. Thank you. Is this East Coast? Yeah, that's Maine. Oh man, I want to visit Maine. Portland, Maine. Um, what was nice about that day is when it's that cold, no one else is there but you. <laughs> <laughs> you guys see um that shot right there? Do you see uh the perfect storm? Uh, yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I have not that's seen the, that movie, but that's I'm... the lighthouse they pass on the way out. Really? Yeah, it's in Gloucester. That's, that's so cool. Can you see Jodie Foster? No. no. <laughs> she was she that... in that movie? <laughs> oh, that's Twister. Yes, Sorry. that was Twister. Sorry, that's Twister. Uh, that's nice. Look at this; is beautiful. Are you guys going to WPPI? Uh, I was asked about it, but I can't because I have I'm going to be um, going to D.C. for a few days to do headshots. Oh, wow. for the so president you... for Joe Biden. No, no, no. Just some uh, people. <laughs> so, yeah, that's a destination gig. Yeah, I do that a lot. So how do you charge that? How do you charge? Uh, how, how do you figure out a price? Yeah, list this is that? an important question. I yeah. Well, Typically, it would be um, my rate that I would have for um, headshots. But um, so, so when I go to D.C., I have a, a friend of mine that lives there and um, she has a beautiful home where I just with an extra spare bedroom and everything. So um, I usually end up staying with her. But if it's a situation where I'm going somewhere where I'm not I don't know somebody, um, usually the client will pay for flight and accommodations for the for the time being. Um, uh it's not normally more than a weekend uh, trip like this one is a uh, Friday, Saturday and come back on Sunday. Um, and that's pretty much how it's priced out. Pretty simple. That's, cool. Straightforward. that's great. I mean, it, so, so I, I think that's one of the biggest struggles for most photographers is trying to figure out how much to charge and how much to value your work. And I think it's something I, I know myself, so I, I don't charge. I don't charge, and it's because I am not a professional. Uh, I'm an amateur photographer. You know, I have a profession that pays the bills, and so I, I don't typically charge. Now, of course, if someone was like, hey, I need you to come to D.C., they would go pay. But <laughs> but I, I get lost in it when it becomes, you know, well, what should I charge? Well, that that's the thing is 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 when you're at that point, particularly when you are charging whatever your fee happens to be, um, it makes it much easier to figure that part out. Um, like I said, for example, whatever my headshot, headshots are different depending if it's in the studio, which is literally across the street from my house where I live, <laughs> um, different than when I'm traveling somewhere because it's a little bit more work, there's more gear, there's time involved. Um, so it, the price is usually just a little bit higher. Um, but then again, the cost of, uh, hotel and accommodations and traveling is usually priced into the whole fee. What camera are you planning on using for your headshots in DC? Just out of curious. Z, the Z7 II, the Nikon. The Z7? Z7 II, yeah. Yeah, love it. Okay, cool. I'm jealous. Uh, I, <laughs> it's a quick story. Um, there's a really great camera store down the road here. Uh, a, a quick plug is Hunt's photo and video. Um, I put an order in for a Z, Z9 and I totally forgot about. Um, so I got an email and a phone call telling me that I had a Z9. And now I'm thinking the Z9 is in such demand. This is a scam or, or, or a, a fake call. So I never answered the call or the email. So when I went into the store the other day, they said, uh, yeah, you had a Z9 here waiting for you. So, But someone else has it now or did you get able to pick it up? Someone else got it. Oh, that's a cool <laughs> shot. <laughs> what's that oh thanks that's, that's a cool shot this that is gorgeous be... yeah is this like at sunrise or that was sunrise at about negative 14 degrees below zero 
very cold day, but that's what I loved about, uh, this is what I love about doing this type of work is in the winter, in the environment, when it's really extreme, the, uh, it just produces amazing images. You get something different than you would normally get on a regular day. If I went there in a summer, it wouldn't look anything like that. Hey, uh, Eric, do you shoot raw? Yes. Oh, where's your shirt? I shoot raw. Well, it's, it's inside. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Oh, my God. That would be a drone shot. That is beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. I don't mean to drool all over the microphone here, but that is, <laughs> this is inspiring. I I need to get out. I need to get out and shoot more. I need to get out. I need to get out. That's what yeah. I do. I just get out and go and do it when I'm in the mood to do something. If I have the time, if I have the time, why not? I'm going to do it. I got this Very thing nice. called work and it's killing me right now. It is absolutely killing me. I could quit my job today. Oh, wait, here, here. This is what boy. I wanted to ask you about. Yeah. This is what I wanted to ask you. Product photography, because you do absolutely. this as well. Um, so w tell us something about these shots here. Is it, what do you shoot at, like F-16? Yeah, these were shot up around F-14, F-16. Um, okay just to bring out as much detail as possible um, with this shot here. I think everything in there is, is what you see. There's nothing Photoshopped except for the drip coming out of the bottle, leaning over into the glass. Everything else is what you see is how I shot it. Really? Because usually with product photography, guys spend literally sometimes days on one photo. No, oh, yeah. no this, well, no, I won't lie. This probably took about two and a half plus hours to set up light and shoot um, editing uh, editing this type of work for me is fun um, because it's just getting to that detail considering I was telling him I have the 27 inch Mac in front of me uh, but I'm on my 16 inch iMac uh, and you can zoom in and get that quality and the detail uh, is it's what I love about this type of work is is the editing part too yeah can you zoom in a little more Chris um uh, no uh, um, uh, <laughs> all right it's all right um, the the it department shut down at five. Oh, there you go and i'm not sure how to do that can you tell us something about your backdrop how you got that light or is this you well, know, that light you... so that light there um is shot i have a large piece of translucent plexiglass hanging behind there with oh. a yellow gel um, with a grid behind it um, to give me that radiant glow. Um, it's just a matter of lining it up to where the bottles were. Um, and the bottles and everything is sitting on a piece of black plexiglass. Wow. Uh, and you can't see the edge because it just, it's nice and bright at the edge of that plexiglass. Um, so that's why you can't really see the edge of it as that much. Oh, nice. Wow. I love I the love how much motion there is. Yeah, the reflection. Is you have soft boxes on this each side, I see. Yep. Yep. What do you use? What what do you what kind of flashes? What kind of uh umbrellas or uh soft um, boxes? For these, they were these were uh Einsteins with uh strip boxes on each side, alien bean Einsteins. Love oh, alien bean. <laughs> um this is both basically the ones I use the most. Um I I I would use the bigger expensive ones, but I don't need it um, for what the work I'm doing. Um, and if I do, I'm just going to rent it. Good for you. Good for you. I, I love alien bees. That's where I got my start with flash. Yes. Oh, yes. look at that. That is, that's that's awesome. cool. This is something that would sell for like a million dollars. I know. That's, I want a print of it on my wall. <laughs> no, no, no. Seriously. This is something that this reminds me of that 99 cent photo. You seen that? Mm -mm. The 99 cent photo. Google it when you get a chance here. Google it right now. I am I am talking to Eric first. Oh, look at this shot. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Go, look at this shot. This is like amazing, Eric. That's yeah. So walk walk me through this. Uh, did you have like someone you know tip a glass, or is this photoshopped, or like? Oh, no, none of this. None of this stuff is photoshopped. There's a couple. Oh, there's a couple images in here that are, but this particular one is not photoshopped. Um, what I found out is okay. So the bottle is sitting on the black, another piece of black black plexiglass. What I realize is. When you drop a glass on a plexiglass, it's not going to break depending on, well, depending on how you drop it. <laughs> so the ice cubes that are falling out of there are $50 pieces of plexiglass ice cubes that look like real ice cubes. The oh. water, the liquid that you see coming out of there is not bourbon or it's, it's because that would be a waste of 
alcohol. <laughs> so um, what that is, is a food coloring seasoning for um, cooking to give it that bourbon color. Um, and what I did is I just dropped the, I have a remote trigger in one hand and I dropped the glass next to the bottle in the other hand. And it's just a matter of timing. That probably took about 10 times. It's a mess, but it's a, it's a fun process to do. Um, the editing again is a lot of fun because there's a lot of cleanup. Um, but again, the end result, uh, I think is worth it. Are you doing, oh, yeah. you're doing, what's your, uh, what's your shutter? I mean, are, are you doing high speed there or yeah, high speed sync for those high speed sync? So what are you, what are your shutter speed at? Um, that one was somewhere around, <laughs> I want to say somewhere around 12 to 1600. It might've been even faster. High speed sync. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Look at the this, reflection of the bottle, folks. Yeah, same, like, same with that one too. Um, and then the back of the bottle, a little photo, a little photography trick. Now, the, again, this is all everything in here has not been photoshopped. The light that's coming behind that bottle is actually a piece of uh, gold foil paper that I got at at the craft store that's sitting behind it. So the strip light, when it hits that gold foil, lights up that back behind the bottle to give it that glow behind it. Wow. I love product photography. Like I, ah, I love it. I should just start shooting the stuff that's in my house. It's Look at a, that. Same thing with that one. Dropping the glass, one shot. Damn. Damn. Oh, my, that TikTok, at the same actually, my TikTok channel. I have a uh, behind the scenes of that one. Oh, okay. I don't have the TikTok. Uh, jo was that Jody asked for product? Do you do the work on spec and? try to sell to them or are you commissioned to do the shot? Um, that all depends. Um, I have a, a few of them like this, these ones you're seeing here with, with this company, mm -hmm. they send me the bottles um, and ask me to shoot it. And they, they send, I'm on a, on a, um, a retainer for them. So oh, cool. every once in a while, they'll send me stuff uh, that they need shot. And then I'll shoot that in the studio. Um, the ones like the Jack Daniels, um, stuff like that, and even like the the perfume bottles or the cologne bottles. Um, a bunch of those I did for myself because I, I just enjoy doing that type of work. I like this. Thank you. I've seen yeah. this somewhere. What's one? Has this been published? Which one? Are these, all these. Oh, no, not yet. Oh. <laughs> I don't think they will be, but. Well, you're making us the premiere then. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, this is really cool. Yeah, I don't um, think they'll be published, but. Yeah, man, I'm I'm bl I'm blown away. Agnetha, what's up? She says, "Nice, very creative." Thank oh you. my God, walk me through this here. Okay, was this so in the, a water tank? Yeah. So all those you see with the blue liquid, um, those are all mm -hmm. shot in a fish tank. Um, <laughs> basically, the same way I would shoot product photography, except everything's underwater. Okay. Not me, with the product. <laughs> okay, so so you have like a fish tank, like you said. And then do you have to like squeegee the inside of it or anything or? Um, well, typically when you fill it up, um, there's going to be some air, bu air bubbles on the outside of it. So what I end up doing is um, letting it settle and then they have a little squeegee. I have a, the best thing I, I have is a little paintbrush that you can get at, at the craft store to just kind of brush the paintbrush uh, bubbles away. Wow. This and reminds so then, me of your logo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <actually. laughs> So yeah. it, it, this ring is, did you just like, just kind of drop it in there or is it suspended with a, a piece of string or? Um, that one there had been hot glued with a piece of plexiglass, a very small piece of plexiglass attached to a, um, a, uh, a clamp on the outside of the tank. So it's just kind of hanging there. Um, okay. And then what is the blue? Is it like ink? Yeah, it's acrylic ink. So it's a certain if you mix it just right, um, you get the beautiful cloudy effect to it. If you mix it too thick, it just kind of looks too clumpy. If you mix it too light, it just dissipates too easy, too much. So okay. at the beginning, it was a lot of trial and error. Okay. Um, the ones that are more further down with like the cologne or more better examples of those. <gasps> I like the scent. Yeah. <laughs> wow. This is your. This is up your alley, man. This is awesome. That's a stew blue thing right there. That's yeah, a stew blue. blue. <laughs> no. That's cool. I uh yeah. I've been contemplating doing just for fun, like like you were doing, um, a shot for like liquid death, the the canned water. 
And I, I want to, I think I might buy just a simple tank like you've got here and then just kind of experiment with it and just see what I get out of it. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Maybe I'll make a YouTube video about me trialing an error. <laughs> it is great. I mean, it's only a, I think it's a 10 gallon fish tank is what I use most of the time. Um, and then the acrylic ink is in, in syringe needles, uh, syringe tubes on each side. I just kind of squirt it in depending on how fast. And so that's it awesome. Yeah, this you're is awesome. This is creative, man. <laughs> Thank you. So, uh, what, what is the big challenge with lighting when you're using like a, a fish tank or, or something like that? I find the, the biggest challenge is for some is there's a lot of light that comes from the bottom, uh, from underneath. Um, okay. I find that tends to be a little bit too overexposed. Um, so it's a matter of controlling that. Um, the reflection is usually not, not an issue. Um, for some strange reason, I think it's just physics. <laughs> but um, don't argue it's, it's physics. <laughs> it's just physics. Um, but the lot of the the lot of that stuff you see underwater, a lot of it is trial and error. And if it doesn't work out the first time, you got to take everything out and start all over again. So, um, for example, a bottle like shot like that, I think that took me probably four times to get something I kind of liked with it, um, which means emptying out ten gallons of water each time, cleaning out all the water. Wait a minute, wait. A minute. Where's your where's your camera? Where is it? Not, when you're shooting this. Oh, it's probably about not that far from the tank. So it's not in water. It's in water. No, no, it's like right outside the tank. Okay, got it. Oh, look at that. Do you enjoy the uh, tequila after you're done? Well, hey, um, uh, look at this like whirlwind coming out of here, man. Next. Well, that's, that's water, actually. It's um, to make it look like tequila. Again, I don't want to waste alcohol, so I don't want to. And is this another just drop? You just drop the glass? Yep. That's awesome. Well, my hat is off to you, comrade. This is, I am inspired. Thank you so much. Look at the colors, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Wow. Wanna, uh, so I wanted to talk to you about your modeling, uh, yeah. model photography, because I do too. Uh, I'm interested in that and how you go about like, Booking it, uh, what are some of the things that you're, what do you do to, to stay, you know, focused or careful sometimes, you know, because I've heard a lot of stories where photographers get, you know, in trouble. They get, they get their words, they, they mouths are a little too much. Um, as far as the work, as far as booking the work, um, um, like, I, like I said, it was a lot of it's word of mouth. Um, I've been doing it, working with models, working with people for about nine years. Um, so eventually over time, it's just kind of word of mouth. And if you're someone like me that has really good work ethics and you were raised <laughs> properly, um, you're going to be able to treat people the way you want to be treated. I don't ever want to make someone feel uncomfortable in my studio. Um, because then again, I'm going to feel uncomfortable. Everything's going to be not working out. And that's the last thing I want to do. Um, for me, as far as focus, I love my job. There's nothing more I would rather do than this. So there's nothing I would want. There was nothing I would do to risk doing anything like that. Um, it, to me, it's, it's funny. It, to me, it's just a job. It's, it's almost like it's a job to me. Mm -hmm. Like, like you would be going to work to the bank. Um, it's not that I love everybody I work with, but I kind of, it's almost like you can kind of almost assume it like, uh, uh, associate like people go to the bank that work with money all the time. They get, it's just repetitive. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. You would think you would get excited about seeing money all the time. I can guarantee you people at the bank sick and tired of looking at $20 bills. I'm sick and tired of meth. <laughs> So when you're, when you, when you work with a lot of people year uh, over a lot of uh, years, you kind of just, you get used to working at as a regular job, just enjoying it and having a good time. Um, Except you have beautiful models in front of you with, you know, bikinis and tan. It's all the same. It's all the same. It really is. It, 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 it really is. And it's about the environment and the thing is, is I almost look at every time I do a photo shoot is I want it again. I want them to be happy and relaxed and comfortable with everything. And then again, I want to 
possibly be able to market the images at the end of the day. So um, I want them to be really good. Nice. Oh, I have a lot of people that ask me, like, how do you do it, Chris? Like, how do you do this and like maintain, you know, professionalism? And I tell them that it's it's like running a marathon. It's hard work. And it's fun and beautiful, wonderful work to do, but it is hard to do. And, you know, you don't want to screw up. You want to be very professional. You don't want to waste their time and you want to make the most of, of what you have. And so it is very, very hard uh, work to do. And that I think that just kind of keeps me straight and level, you know? Well, I do. Um, it, 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 I had just uh, mentioned earlier that I had, uh, I totally lost my train of thought there with something else. Um, a lot of the work that you see, particularly on my Instagram or social media, you're going to find a lot of models um, like you're seeing there. What you won't find is the 85% of the other clients that I work with, because a lot of times they want to do it for their husbands. Uh, mm. They want to do it for their significant others. So that about 80% of my work will never see the light of day. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the work that will see the light of day is the ones that want it out there more. Are those are going to be the the models or or the the clients that you're seeing here? That's yeah. Um, with me, it's like if I'm shooting concerts, I'm a drummer at heart, so I I let that control me and I screw up the pictures. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a model at heart, you know. The, the pictures are all out of focus because I'm just drumming to the beat. <laughs> Air drumming. Hey, this is nice, Eric. Thank you. That was in uh, Puerto Varata. Wow. Yeah, this is how do you nice. find humans to shoot with that are out of country and stuff like that? Like, how do you do that? So all these ones that you saw, the ones I was telling you about, um, there's usually a group of us that travel to different locations, exotic locations, Puerto Varata, Hawaii, um, Costa Rica was in December. Um, okay. We usually about five or six models, about 10 photographers, usually two or three times a year. Um, and we'll spend about a week in these locations, traveling to different parts of that location and uh, just doing photo shoots, having fun with it. And, you, and it's great because um, it's a different environment, different location, and, and you can actually get away with a little bit more, uh, I want to say nudity on beaches uh, overseas than you can here in the United States. So um, excellent. It's fun. And then, of course, the people we do work with over there have local models as well. So how do you deal with attitudes like? Oh, I don't want to shoot or well, um, you know. it doesn't happen very often, particularly with these types of trips, because everybody's excited. And everybody wants to shoot. Um, so there's never really any problem with anybody not wanting to shoot. Sometimes there's usually a problem with somebody not wanting to shoot with somebody. Uh, other than that, it's pretty much. everyone. <laughs> good what do you do then? <laughs> uh, I just take a break and go eat. You know, <laughs> you know with my experience with models they are usually very humble very nice very eager to work and very excited to get going you know like that's that they're there for the same reason that you are and that is just to make and create you know it's just there i like how charles said he has any home maternity shoot any suggestions uh, um i would suggest to use as much natural light as possible particularly if it's at home Look at this guy. Is he a doctor, lawyer? Doctor. Uh, those guys are realtors. Oh, realtor. Right. I don't like the way he's looking at me. <laughs> Tell you about him. <laughs> I might break him down. <laughs> Headshots are tough. That's tough. Yeah. I, I, I find that I, uh, I get a lot of things. I get him off the screen. He's staring at me. <laughs> no, he's I did on purpose. <laughs> Why? Wow, you see these types at your uh, office coming in? Yes, and... they're called lawyers and they're the worst. <laughs> they talk to you, say, hey, let me see my client. Yeah, <laughs> you, you can see your client. Now Give me she just like, a minute. <laughs> she looks like a lawyer. Uh, she's a uh, realtor. Ah, he's an actor. Guy. He's an actor. Yep. I work with a lot of actors, a lot of um, uh, people, local actors in the Boston area. Nice. She's is an this actor. Anna Libowitz? Oh, no. No, she's no. an actor. <laughs> her name's Grace. Her. That's Grace, actually. Her name. It's funny. Yeah, I she's remember beautiful. Everybody. Wow. Look at this. Very nice, man. This is, uh, what are you using with the uh, lighting here? Just one, one um, light? This is natural light with a reflector. Most mm. of it. Uh, some wow. of these are a lot of in-studio with either the Westcott lighting, um, 
or natural light, depending on the situation. Or a mixture what, of both. What do you do when you have models that demand that you change their appearance post-production? You know, like what, what, uh, how, how do you deal with that? Uh, I don't normally have that issue. I've had it a couple times where they wanted, um, they just wanted it over processed. And, and, and I just told them that that's not the style and the reason you hired me to, to shoot. So why would you want it to look that way? Um, I said, if you're going to do that, then um, I'm, I have no interest in these photos. So please don't tag me or anything like that. Um, I, I've had a couple of clients where particularly the boudoir section, the more prettier stuff, sexier stuff, uh, they didn't really want their face in the photos, which makes it a little bit more difficult okay. <laughs> because I've never really shoot anybody without their face. Um, but it's just their their website they want it for. So. Look at this. How, yeah, how that you, is how, gorgeous. How do you, uh, this is natural wind, right? Uh, there's three people under there. Well, <laughs> okay, because sometimes cool. when we do when we when we do weddings and we want this effect, yep, we have two of the guy, videographers just throw it up in the air the dress and then run away. Mm -hmm. Well, see, on the other side of there, it drops down about 20 feet onto rocks, so they couldn't run. They had to stand there behind the dress and just kind of wave it up behind them. Where, where is this? Um, that's in Costa Rica. Oh, man. If I was here, I'd be... That was a that was a two-mile two one-way horseback ride and two miles back the other way horseback ride to that waterfall. Oh, wow. One well, of the well worth it. One of the best trips and one of the best weeks I've ever had in my life. That's cool. Look at those sunsets. You can't beat those sunsets. Look so, at that. Comrade, how, how do I get involved with, uh, may I travel with you? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I, I actually put posts out on Instagram for like three weeks for this trip to Costa Rica for other I, people to come. I don't have the Instagram. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. So when you do that two mile there and back, it's mm -hmm. wise to have light equipment, right? I mean, it's, it's wise um, to... You know. Partic well, typically you're not going to bring more than a speed light and you're not going to want to bring a, a tripod. You, I had a camera with my 70 to 200, my 24 to 70 on my, uh, in my bag. And that's it. Um, I didn't need oh. anything else. So. Look at that. This is oh with my a, God, that's is this gorgeous. With, is this with a uh, 14 to 20, 30, 24 or something? That's uh 24 to 70. Wow. That's, that's a nice I love that lens. I, it's, I love it. It's what I'm using right now on the camera. I mean, it really is. It's a Navy SEAL of lenses. It's really good. <laughs> Wait, is your, Army knife of lenses. is your go-to camera is what? Your go-to main camera right now? My Z7 II. Ah, so you, okay, okay. Nice. Do you have a backup? A Z7. <laughs> okay. Not much difference, but. Z7, that's cool. Do you it's have a, a Terminator Z of a sensor, so that's a good one. Do you have a Z6? Who? you no i did i actually um every time i get something new i trade it in so i traded that z6 in for the z7 then i bought the z7 too uh, yeah because with shots like this you want as much detail as possible yeah, yeah. so you, you look at the look at the dress yeah it's gorgeous well what were you we shooting before the the mirrorless um it, the one before that i had a i had two d850s um and basically the z7 two is a d850 in a mirrorless body it's phenomenal it's probably one of the best sensors out there on the on the market um and i wow. i before that it was uh d300 before that was d70 very cool wow look at this this what would you we was this planned with the 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 plane or yep i have a, a friend of mine um who is a manager at a uh, airport uh probably down the road about 20 miles. And I said, do you know anybody that has a bi-wing airplane that would be interested in doing a photo shoot? And he says, yes, I do. And he put me in touch with this guy who owns this amazing 1942 Stearman bi-wing airplane. Um, we've done it twice. We did this shoot here with the parachute dress. There's photos you won't see on here because they are not safe for work, but I have her with the <laughs> airplane coming behind her um, with the smoke, um, with her standing completely naked, um, and then some with that dress, um, you won't see. <laughs> oh, I want to see. No, I'm kidding. But uh, 
this yeah did you guys have to pay for the prop here for the, the, the plane for, yeah no it's a friend of mine oh he he owns the plane or he his owns friend, the plane. I, I, paid, I told him i'd take care of his gas for him if he wants to go ahead if we'll do it he's all right we'll do it and Look, uh, dude you even got it up Oh, there's a there's there's so many from this set you, you would be very surprised. Look at that's that. Great. Oh, I got it even close. There's some that's really close, but we couldn't legally legally have him go directly over her head. So mm. I had to position myself so it looked as if he was going to come over her top of her head. Yeah, and I could imagine the noise. Of the um, it, it wasn't as bad as you would think, um, and we had our own private air, airstrip, so. Look at that, Chris. That's what I look like when I take my shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> Which, by the way, you will see soon. <laughs> Me with, I'm not kidding, with my shirt off. Uh, Mr. Matt Irwin of Australia and myself have cooked up a little something. I got to keep it on the DL for now, but uh, I'll be very excited to show everyone my handsome torso. <laughs> Are you serious? What's going I'm on? Okay. In uh fact, I was wearing this wig. <laughs> Is that the Fronos photo wig? No, sir. Oh, this okay. is the Peter Jackson wig. <laughs> All right, we, we can't wait. Yeah, you'll you'll see. Hopefully soon. That's cool. I should email him to get on here. He's it's probably midday. It's probably midday tomorrow. Over there in Australia. I think so. Well, yeah. No, it's like eight o'clock in the morning. Do well, it. These are great too. Thank you. Yeah, these are cool. That's why I was saying a lot of when you when you see my website, it's it's a lot different than you would see my Instagram. My Instagram's a lot more of the sexier boudoir stuff. This is a lot more uh the stuff you would see marketable commercial work that I am trying to market more of. Uh you know, you, you bring up kind of a good point there. I uh I because I don't have Instagram. I, in fact, the only social media that I have is is right here on youtube but i've been thinking about having instagram and then posting you know my sexier kind of work on that but i'm not sure if that's really what the people that subscribe to my channel i'm not sure if that's really what they'd like to see or, or i just don't know how well it would be received you know i, I don't know well uh, if it was me i would definitely make your instagram page uh the same as what you're doing with your your youtube because your YouTube and your Instagram page are going to be both going to be, uh, you can make money from, um, YouTube. I mean, uh, Instagram, um, I'm making money from reels, um, from the bonuses. Um, it's, it's the, the matter of you get paid per views. Um, and right now, if you, there's a certain amount that they want you to try wow. to get per month, if you don't, that's fine, but you still get paid for the amount of views that, that you're getting. Um, okay. so the, most, the most I've made has been able to pay for my, utility and car payment for the entire month <laughs> so it pays pretty excellent. well if you get a lot of views okay yeah excellent y yeah eric you got like what forty five thousand subscribe uh followers on your instagram yeah oh nice how the, uh, how long did it take you to get to get that i've had instagram for probably nine years ten years it's the same account so um again it depends on how much you want to build it up I didn't really put a lot of effort into building it up because I wanted it to be more organic. Uh, okay. When you're trying to do it more organic, it's going to take a lot longer. Um, and then, of course, I didn't direct a lot of the stuff that I would have like on Instagram or Facebook um, or YouTube. I didn't direct it much to Instagram at first. Mm. Uh, so it took quite a long time. But once you... It doesn't take much for that to jump. It literally would take almost one shot that literally that everybody loves. It goes viral. Um, that could just make your followers and your um, your engagement just go through the roof. It all depends. You never know. It's hard. She's to say. liking the D850 here. Yes, she is. <laughs> is mine downstairs? Oh, mine's back there. Mine's collecting dust right now. Do you believe that? She's a uh, Miss former Miss Connecticut USA. Oh, hello. <laughs> Oh, is she? She's cute. She got the. Uh, I like the backlight. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Nice. Light. What are you using here? Seventy two hundred. Yep, one of my favorite locations is right there in that field. Is that close to home? Yeah, it's just beautiful light. I love that late afternoon light behind. 
Is this Z Z, right? That one, no, that was uh that was the 850. The uh no 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 the, is it the Z seventy two hundred? Oh no, no, that shot there was probably taken four years ago. Nice. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Oh hello. <laughs> I need to go to New York, man. This is cool. This is cool for so many reasons. Yeah, I it mean, does work on many levels. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I mean, I'm not talking about because we see this, but I am. Um, it's cool because look, number one, she she could be anybody, right? You don't know who she is. Now she's in New York. This is a really cool backdrop, and just though her movement here with the hair. And I like the way she's holding this uh, coat or whatever it is and her figure. It's a very nice shot. Thank you. I've Thank noticed you that a lot of your pictures have a lot of movement in them. And that's very hard, I think, to, to do as a photographer. So I, I value that a lot. It's very excellent work. Thank you. I, I like movement. Um, it, it, having movement just gives more to the shot, more motion. Yeah, more absolutely. <laughs> Man, talk us through this ice uh go go back a bit yeah right here uh where is it and <laughs> was she okay with being so yeah. nude almost in the in this cold environment so yeah that was in um <laughs> that was in uh, new hampshire probably like an hour north of here because i live in like almost near the middle of new hampshire um it's called the ice castles uh they open that up every every winter um, and that everything behind there, it's all ice. That's all built up from, it's actually, they install an outdoor sprinkler system and then they pump the water through. So it creates icicles and then they build it up and they build it up and they build it up and build it up. Um, this shot was about 14 degrees that day. <laughs> um, but to make it easier on her, I put a white beach towel on the oh. white, on the white, uh, snow that just blended in so nicely so that she didn't get frostbite on her toes, but she did want to stab me in the eye because <laughs> it was cold <laughs> on that shot. Um, so the, the material behind her, um, I had the guy who was running this, um, this place. I had him have as an assistant on the count of three, just throw it up as soon as she gave me that pose. And that's what I ended up with. I love it. Very nice. This one here in New York with the cab, it, did you bring a like a speed light? That was um, a speed light in a Westcott uh, rapid box. OK, very cool. Do you one. do you find when you're out in the city and you're doing this kind of stuff, is that hard? Do you have to have people with you helping you with move your gear? And um, when I'm out there in the city doing stuff like that, it's very minimal gear. I'm going to bring a either a speed light in a, in a rapid box or I'm going to bring um, a wireless um, strobe. If it's at night shooting something like that, um, I typically have myself, the the makeup artist, and someone else. Um, typically, the makeup artist because I need someone to have an eye on the model to see if something's out, not in place, and then someone to help me with my gear. It's so important to have a second set of eyes. I know it sounds. Hey, good. rock and roll. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh man, there you go. <laughs> That's badass. It's actually. Uh... Is that a Fender? Yeah. Oh, no. it's, uh, yeah, I actually bought it for the uh, particularly for that photo shoot. And what was then, that? Um, hold on. <laughs> oh, I, I like this too. So Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> Same shot. I had every frame. Ah, OK, that's cool. <laughs> I, I love that printing frame. work. I love it. Uh, it looks it looks great when you can see it on in front of you. I love it, man. Bringing in instruments to the shots, man. Now you're speaking my language. <laughs> I like her expression here. Hey, sometimes the, when, the, when the expressions don't work, what do you do? What do you tell them to like? Yeah. You know, sometimes when you're looking at the talent and you're just like, they look nervous, they look tired. They're not, you know, producing what you want. How, how do you go by changing that? Um. <sighs> A lot of direction, depending on the, the look we're going for. Um, uh, if they want to get that that particular sultry look, like the one you're looking at with the girl with her head kind of tilted back, mm-hmm. um, it's it see it's difficult. Girls like like she's a model. She was actually on VH1. Um, 
she knows how to do that. So I learn mm-hmm. when I get an experience model like that, I pick up those things that they're doing that I like. And then when it comes to a point where I have a model or a client where I want them to give me a certain look, I'll kind of refer back to what a model had done prior to that and show the model, the new one and kind of mirror, have a mirror me, or which is kind of weird when I do that. Um, it's funny, but it works. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Looks funny on me. Looks real on <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I had, I've had so many times where the models start crying. What? What? Yeah. Boyfriend calls them, you know, some weird shit, but, uh, Bahagen, I think you, <laughs> what? what the hell? No, I mean, what I'm trying to say is it's like they get out of that mood of taking shots, you know, like where something personal happens or, you know. Oh, well, that's you might have to chalk the day up on that. You know, you're yeah. not going to be taking any sultry pictures when they're like their grandma died or something. <laughs> not like sometimes they call and say, hey, where are you? You know, what do you mean? Where am I? They start fighting and it, she totally gets out of the mood of taking pictures and it's like. She's thinking about him the whole time, and you know. So, <laughs> you do you come. have a do you have a model that you prefer to work with, no. Eric? Uh, no, I, I okay. I don't really have a preferred model. I, I I would prefer if um everyone I work with had like experience years of experience, but um just oh. that's not how life is. <laughs> Yeah. You do weddings or is this? Yeah. yeah. So if you go to my wedding, I got a wedding website. No. Go to uh, ericandrewphotography.com. Eric. Andrews. Andrew. No S, just Andrew. Photography. Uh, NH.com at the end. Photography. NH dot com so um so this is uh my wedding work that i do uh as well so wedding work <laughs> no <laughs> all right wedding photographers this is yeah. a, 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 a good, <laughs> this is a good lesson <laughs> all right macro yeah this is uh, now i could relate here hold on i'll tell you oh this is a nice composition guys beautiful you yeah. some, you're in the middle here you have the hands and the sparkles. You're at probably dusk here, right? Or yeah, sunset like or something. Blue yep. hour. Yep. What's your ISO here? Like 6,400? Oh, it's high. It's probably about 24. That's not too, too bad because I got a big light behind me. That's kind of giving them a little bit of light. Oh, you got a nice strobe coming off. Yep. And, and you got a light behind the, the subject here, too. Yeah, I wanted to light up in the inside of the venue, so I had a speed light behind them and then Uh a speed light on a behind me. That's where you're getting this backlight. Is this what do you use? Uh, A radio? What do they call them now? Um, That's a trigger. Pocket wizard? (laughs) No, no, it's uh, actually it's a Godox trigger. Triggers. It's really well. (laughs) They're really reliable. (laughs) Yeah, I love Godox. Yeah, I did. I did a few weddings. I'm sorry, Vahagan. I I did a few weddings and. I just was like, nope, that's I'm done. Not for me. I uh, I had a hard time. It had to be nice and happy all the time. Oh, <laughs> Agatha's like Agatha says, who's the moderator here? <laughs> Where at the chat or? Yeah. Great content, John Young. Thank you, John. Love the wedding shots. Roy Mozman. What's up, Mozman? Yeah. Was that Photoshop? I think he's asking about the dinosaur. Was it Photoshop? Yeah, it was. I was. Uh, it was taken a little bit later in time. I had to Photoshop that. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh look Except at that. In crawl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I if I go to hell, I'm gonna be greeted with a camera, and some wedding, and I'm gonna be like, nah. <laughs> dude, you have to second shoot for me once, Chris. What? You do not want me there. <laughs> or I'll second shoot for you. You know what? Book a wedding in Utah. No. People don't worry. Don't get I'll take it up. Just to have an experience of shooting with you. Book a wedding in Utah. I'll take it. I'll, I'll, don't worry. I'll handle the shots. You just come there and have a good time. Okay. 
you would have to strap me to a tree. <laughs> really? It's fun, man. I go hike and do some amazing photos out in Utah. It is beautiful yeah. here. It is beautiful. Right now we're stuck in like this inversion weather. Oh, look at that. It is beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, this is uh I know how you did this. <laughs> but what are you using here? Are you using just a speed light or um there's a speed light behind them in a plastic bag so it doesn't get wet. And there's a speed light gaff tape to the top of the inside of that umbrella. Oh. Oh, I see. Oh, that's cool. I didn't see the Wow, that's cool. So she's holding a light. No, no, they're holding an umbrella. The the light is behind them on a stand in a piece of plastic so it doesn't get wet. And I right. gaff taped a, I gaff taped the speed light pointing down on the top of the inside of the umbrella. That's cool. So it, so it lights so, them up from the top. Is this is this your middle Andrew? Is this your middle name or yep. okay, okay. Snyder was your la- Snyder. Are you is any relation to D Snyder? <laughs> Or Snyder pretzels, no. <laughs> ah, there we go. Very yeah, that's nice. cool. That's very chic. I like that. And now that makes it easy when my bride is a model as well. So. Right. Or is wait a minute, is this a real wedding? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That she's a model. So she's a model. Yep. Ah. I did do a, a wedding and her and him were both models. Nice Jaguar. And uh this yeah. is a beam. This is a beamer, no? It's oh, is it? It yeah. is a BMW, huh? It's an Alpina. Alpina, Alpina. I think. It's cool. And it did help. You're right. Yeah, when they're models. So wait a minute. So oh, look at this. I love Man, it. Man, yeah. Next level work. So thank you. So is this when the when the what, bride is a model? Doesn't that like you have a lot of pressure on you, you know, because she's oh, used to seeing killer work. No, not at all. No, she's got the pressure. A bride, if you ever work with a bride and groom who've never been in front of a camera before and you work with a bride and groom who have always been in front of a camera before, you're going to your wedding day is going to be a lot easier mm-hmm. because they know what it, they look like in front of a camera instead of having to direct your client throughout the day. I really like this. It's nice. Yeah, you've got a good style there. You got a good thing going. That's you shoot nice. weddings in the rain a lot. Yeah, it rains in New England a lot. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm jealous of you guys because you guys got nice foliage. You guys got nice, you know, greenery. It's it's nice over there. You know, weddings are nice. Yeah, but did you see earlier when it was negative 14 degrees below zero at the beach? That's not nice. Well, you <laughs> loved it though, because it was solitary. <laughs> yes, it was quiet, but it was cold. <laughs> what's up fell what's up roy oh fell's here hey fell jody cortez agnetha yeah roy what's going on guys dave tv in the house mtv robert daniels yeah i was on chuck's live uh we were chuck was having a live this morning mm-hmm. and yeah, i uh, missed it is chuck still here i think so probably yeah uh, but um you should go on chuck's show too uh uh eric Okay. Chuck's a lot of fun. Is he? Yeah. But look at this one. Yeah, it's nice. You, yeah, you I guys... missed his live stream today. I felt bad. I work though, man. God, work was nuts today. God. Yeah, I was surprised with uh um Jared uh pulling. Oh, was... what is he up to now? Well, when he asked me about doing a um a critique critique or shit on my website. Yes, uh your your pre the the other website, the one that we were at first, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember wait, he, I remember that episode. Wait, wait, wait. Tell me again what happened. I just uh, don't mention I just don't mention the fro. What yeah. critique? When he critiqued my my website. Oh, he did? Yeah, yeah. On his um on his web on his YouTube channel. Did when you find this? that helpful? Yes, and yes. <laughs> yes, I found it helpful because he gave me some um he gave me some uh, critiques that I wasn't aware of and a few other things that yeah, I just, you don't think about because there's yeah. like a lot going on. Um, and it, a lot of it had to do with my, the typography, the way I presented it and, um, and a couple other different things. So. Wait a minute. So you had to, you, you had to submit something, right? Is that well, how it I, I didn't want him to, I didn't want him to, um, critique my portfolio because I want, I don't even know what any, what I would even send to anybody. 
Mm. So I, I just needed work with my website as far as trying to drive more traffic to it. So I said, could you uh, do a critique on my website? And so I just sent them the link to my website. Yeah, I, I do remember that. Um, I do remember that the fashion part of it. Um, yeah. 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 Uh, but oh, was, you, 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 you like this, Chris, the group shots. <laughs> No, I mean, it's cool, you know, working with the groups and... Um... Yeah, yeah. I can already point out who I don't like in this picture, who I already am going to have a problem with. Really? <laughs> okay, wait, let's see Let's see if it's the same one. Which one? <laughs> hey, move move your mouse. Nope, move your mouse, sir. Let's see. Not, not on that side. Right here in the... Yeah, right there, right in the middle. Not her. Uh, to the left. Boom. Really? Yep. Yep. <laughs> Yep, that's a Karen. <laughs> <laughs> you are funny, man. And see so, these guys, look how cool they am. Do you see how cool I am? I am not cool. I just, oh. Uh, I love the motion it. here, Eric. It, excellent. Yes, I will say that. Yeah. Thank you. This is pretty. This is nice. Yeah. I like how you dressed up the whole scene here. Yeah. Now, was this like this before you got here or you set Where, it up you yourself? the with the, the robes i mean the dresses um those weren't there because the doors were closed i believe so that was the best place to hang them because it was a big big uh suite that they were in so um, you 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 do weddings man yeah um uh, i've been doing weddings for 10 years um a few months ago i stopped booking weddings for myself uh anymore i'm just gonna do second shooting from now on uh, why is that uh, stress. I don't need it anymore. It's my mental health. It's, it's a lot of stress on your on your on your God mind, bless you body. Um, I like this. I, I, I just like want to be able to enjoy it a little bit more as a second photographer, and not so much as a stress as the first photographer. Oh, the one with the dress is hanging up. This is the other side of that closet looking out. Oh, okay. This is very nice. Yeah, it's Everyone, beautiful. Every, everyone's looking at the bride. Yeah, excellent uh, composition. Thank you. Now, okay, uh, I know because this is the thing with doing your own weddings. Yeah, you do make more money and your name recognition, but it's like you're responsible. You have to talk with the bride, get back with her. You know, it's a lot more hassle and work. But if you second shoot, you just shoot, give them the files and you're done. Yeah, I had a wedding client um, earlier this year basically made this is what made my mind up. Um, they they basically broke their contract um, mm. blame me uh, and blame me for it. So mm. I had enough of it. I was like, I'm not going to deal with this. Um, if you guys want to go to court, we'll go to court. After that whole deal, um, I said, I had enough. I don't need all this stress for, for not something that's not my fault. So, Wow. Uh, I just rather second shoot. Yeah. Right. You yeah, shoot. Good for you. You're done. You. you're shooting. You're done. Shooting. You're done. And no editing, no raw processing, nothing. <laughs> that one's funny with the uh, humans on the stairs there. That was funny. That's a good right. one. <laughs> Where? Right here, comrade. Oh, right here. Those are not stairs. <laughs> oh, oh am I locked up? Did my camera lock up? There we go. It'll come yeah, back. Here wh in a weddings are fun, man. Oh, this is cool. That's awesome. All right. This is really nice. Thank you. I like the composition. Well, I like bringing my drone everywhere. So what do you like? Do you have an assistant flying it or no? Um, like, I'm gonna fix so my this is a really this is a really good lesson on uh, perspective here. Like mm -hmm. when you're shooting on a lower perspective, you get this angle. It's very nice. Versus if you were standing up, the shot would be totally different. Well, I find that when you're working with short subjects uh, with kids or animals or particularly if I once in a while I work with a baby. Get down on that level um, because that's the level that you want to see. Um, it's you know, it's not a very flattering level from looking up from down. Um, so I find that if it's a kid, get right down on their level. It's a much better shot. Uh, Chuck, Eric's from New Hampshire. Yep. How far is that from Manhattan? About four hours. Oh, okay. You see this shot with the big ballroom? Yeah. yeah. Do you, you remember the movie uh, True Lies? Oh, yes. 
the movie and the movie where they're dancing when he's dancing with the uh, Tia in the movie and that ballroom that's the ballroom um in true lies it's a mansion in rhode island and here's the funny thing you're gonna go back you if you want later tonight go ahead and youtube this part of the movie in true lies when he leaves the building you're gonna notice that they're in the swiss alps or something like that this was <laughs> shot at the ocean and at this is this building is right next to the ocean in rhode island is <laughs> nowhere near i love uh, hollywood the the swiss alps <laughs> but i was hired to just light that reception wow oh. so i thought i'd take a couple shots of it that's a cool picture there this is cool so um but yeah i have i have if you go further down there's shots from a wedding i did in paris um because i travel all over places where i saw the eiffel tower in there and i was i was gonna ask you if that was like in vegas or if it was in paris <laughs> <laughs> no that was in paris <laughs> Well, that's cool. I I tell you, my hat goes off to both of you. I I I really do struggle. I know I make light of it, but I struggle with the wedding. Yeah, you have to like it. Um, but second shooting, it's not. You know, doing your own weddings is not for everyone. But second shooting might be good because you're less stressed. You're just showing up. They're paying you maybe one fourth of the price. You know, and then when you, the the bad thing is, Chris, when you make when you do a killer image. Uh, you don't get name recognition. You know what I mean? It's like the main studio you're shooting for is it's his image. Mm -hmm. yeah. even, though you, even though you took it, it's like some guys, they don't want you to put, put your logo. Don't put it on Instagram. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with it as long as you pay me. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, like I said, there's a lot of earlier. I said there's a lot of work that never sees the light of day that clients hire me for. Um, and I'm fine with that because they don't want it seen um, out there for a particular reason. Um, and it's the same with the, the wedding client wants it to be that wedding company wants it to be all cohesive in the same looking stuff. So they don't want one wedding looking different from the other wedding. Yeah. So uh, do you have any rapid fire questions for Hagen for? Uh... Yes. You, you start first. Oh, you got. Let me, I'd have to, I have to, I can't remember now. I have to dig them up. Let's write them down. So this is a, because uh, I talk to a lot of photographers on YouTube and they mm -hmm. ask me questions, uh, why I shoot, what I shoot. I think it's real important to like what you shoot, you yeah. know, and is this, is photography your full-time gig? Mm -hmm. yep. You don't do anything else. Mm -hmm. mm. Full-time. I uh, started full-time almost 10 years ago it's just about 10 years cool are you pretty busy i mean how was it with the um with the you know the two years um at first it was difficult for the first few months um just trying to figure out the direction that everything was going um and again i was lucky enough i actually started a tiktok back then when the covid started um mm. and it was kind of a good thing that i did because um Everybody liked me making them laugh. So I thought it would be a good idea if I'm getting all these followers to put my uh, my Venmo number up there or whatever. So I started to, uh, I put my Venmo up there. So for a couple months after that was helping things go along because everything was just shutting down. Um, about It took about six months for some business to start coming back a little bit. But prior to that, um, applying for the, the PPP business loans um, and getting those helped a lot throughout the year. Um, plus, I was still booking weddings, but just booking them further in advance. Um, so I was still having income coming in. Um, granted, I didn't want to continue shooting weddings, but it seemed at the time it was going to be the best way for anybody to make money if you're in any other business besides doing weddings. So. Oh, I see. Uh, and uh, yeah, you have to juggle that. And even, you know, in the off season, it's it's tough sometimes, too, with weddings. But you do portraits, you do photo shoots, you keep yourself busy. So, yes. Yeah, I'm impressed The I, I really struggle to find time. And I mean, it, there there's like my mental stress problem right there is is trying to just find time. You know, so what, what, is it, what else do you do? Well, so, I mean, I have my 45 hours a work week, you know, uh, and then 
uh, you know, full-time house, full-time wife, full-time kids, uh, you know, and then my wife and I now are both at that age where we are taking care of our children, but we are also now taking care of our parents as well. And, and yep. that's been very hard, especially on my wife. That's been very tough. And so it's, there are so many times where it's like, Oh, Hey, I'm, I, I've got this like three hour section this week of time that I'm going to dedicate to a YouTube video or just go out and shoot. Like you said, and you know, boom, the phone rings and you're done, you know, or something happens at work. Uh, you know, it, I wish that I could say I get off every day at five o'clock, but sometimes crime happens right at five. <laughs> <laughs> right. They got some to, nerve. <laughs> we're going to not pull a crime at five o'clock. Yeah. The, um, I have a couple of, uh, of, of good friends who are photographers who have another full-time job who have kids who have a wife. Um, and it's difficult because they, they're the same way. They really want to just jump into it and do it full-time, but, um, it's finding the time to make that decision for myself. I'm single. I don't have any kids. I'm not married. So for me to jump into it full time, it was just basically needing a, the job at the time to work with me, to help me transition into a full-time job as a photographer. So. Yeah. Right on. Um, if you see, I'm not sure if you've seen Stu Blue's videos, but uh, he's a, he's a yeah. creative guy. I, mean, I, I like him. <laughs> oh, he thanks, does. guys. Thanks. I'm so, yeah. I just did mine today about my my lovely ZFC. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> oh, thank you. I had a lot of very fun nice. with that. I love oh. this camera. This is a good one. Yeah, very nice video, Chris. Yep. Thank you. The actual, you know, what's funny is if you watch it, I look like I'm driving on the wrong side of my car. Oh, because it's backwards. It's it's upside down. Yeah. So the camera. Yeah. The, the, I used the ZFC and I had to turn it upside down and mount it to my windshield like that. <laughs> and so in post, I had to flip it, but then now I'm on the other side. So I thought that was kind of funny. I was looking at this and I was like, am I driving a Japanese car like in Japan? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got a question. Do you, when your videos, do you grade? Like how's, what do you shoot in? A flat? Who are you talking to? You, you. When you shoot video, like you the scenes do you shoot flat profile so yeah i shoot when especially on like the zfc i'll, I'll shoot in flat and uh internal at eight bit and then um with the z62 I'll, I'll i'll most of the time i'll shoot 10 bit and log and then yeah it looks very uh you know uh filmic it's cool man oh and thank you, you so you much you grade too a little bit oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. You, you shoot 20 four frames per second obviously yeah yeah i like to shoot at 24 i think it's it's the most like pleasing to the eye for me i like um, the one with the soviets the <laughs> interrogation room that, like that? That, that was in the next room over there <laughs> that was awesome man thank you i loved doing that that was a funny one i i, I wish i could just do that all day i know I just just make films i know and just screw around yeah, this, that's what I was saying that Matt Irwin and I were, we're working on something together. We're trying to get legs on it now. And I think when it does, it'll be a lot of fun. I think uh, Wait, remotely. So you get, you will ships, uh, I mean, ship, you will uh, film something. <laughs> yeah. No, okay, you know, yeah. I mean, you know, Australia is a little tight with me right now. They don't want me in there. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. but that's just fine. But Hey, Eric, uh, I, I do have some rapid fire questions. If, uh, if you wouldn't mind. Well, before we get into it, oh, hold yes, that sir. thought. I just want to ask Eric one question. One Do it up. Question. What do you feel? What do you think of uh, photographers? Because I've been battling this for about a week now. But what do you think of photographers buying gear that they don't use or holding on to gear they don't use? Do you just get rid of gear you just don't touch? Uh, yes and no. I do have a lot of gear particularly because I do this full time. So you end up collecting stuff over the years. Um, I find that once I get stuff that I don't need, I'm either going to trade it in or I'll donate it to the, um, to the community college here, the arts school in, in, in local and, and uh, they love it. So I'd rather do something like that. But when it comes to uh a next camera or another lens um usually i'll just trade it in for another one so i don't normally have a ton of lenses and gear um mostly because uh i wouldn't know what to do with it it would just sit there and i and i my ocd would want to play with everything so you don't <laughs> get emotionally attached to gear 
uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the uh, system I have right now, the Z7 II with the Z lenses is got to be my most incredible. I've said this a few times. I don't know if it's physically possible to be in love with a piece of gear, but oh, I absolutely, absolutely love the Z7 II with the Z with the Z lens 70 to 200. It is phenomenal. <laughs> and the 24 to 70 is incredible. I have never had a better system than the one I have now. Yeah, so, you hear you hear that, Chuck? <laughs> Chuck's not too fond of the Z7 II. I think it's an amazing. I've taken it and shot some amazing stuff that I didn't think I could get before. A Z8 coming out, you think? Yeah, maybe. Uh, <laughs> all right, bro, go for it. All right, question the first. And please, Bahagan, please feel free to answer as well, comrade. But oh, uh, Eric, we'll start with you. Coke or Pepsi? And there is a correct answer to this. Pepsi. No, that was okay. That was <laughs> that was the wrong answer. <laughs> well, I cleaned my pennies with Coke, so I just didn't do it. <laughs> I cleaned my teeth with Coca Cola. <laughs> I don't. I don't drink Coke anymore. I pe- sodas anymore. But if when I did Coke, well, when you did Coke, <laughs> when I did Coke. Phrasing, comrade. <laughs> I'll rephrase that one. <laughs> so uh, now, uh, Vahagen, has it just been like the three weeks that you've been off like a uh, soda or has it been longer? Yeah, about three. But uh, tough, man. This this week doesn't count because a couple of days. No, that's tough. When I went to the police academy, I didn't have a soda in 12 months. Wow. And I looked fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all full sugar, man. I mean, is it that I haven't? I didn't know. <laughs> no, but I mean, <laughs> I like it because when you're eating something heavy, it helps you digest. Oh, you know sure. I mean? oh, sure. 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 When you're thirsty, it helps you digest. <laughs> all right. All right. Question of the second. And I think you've kind of already answered this, but F mount or Z mount? Z mount. Yeah, me too. Yep. I, I held I on. I, don't, I held on. I honestly don't think. Yeah, I mean, the only reason you can have DSLR is just to keep it on, hold on to it, install it. Like people have like this film lit, film camera. Um, there's always going to be a need for DSLR for people who want to learn, but I don't think either any company is going backwards or going to make any more DSLRs ever. It's going to be yeah. Z, it's going to be Z mirrorless. Well, Z for Nikon but mirrorless. I, uh, <laughs> I, I tried for as long as I could to hang on to the F mount. I really did. I, I early adapted with the Z6, but I used it only really for video. And yep. I tried to just keep going with the, the D750 and the D850 as long as I could. But slowly but surely, I, I'm completely, I love the Z mount now. I mean, I think it's just amazing. Yeah. Hey, Roberts, uh, Robert, thank you. Uh, Chris is a funny guy. I love it. <laughs> It's all that soda. Yeah. Who's that? Do you have, and I hope, oh my God, this is, I'm, I am excited to ask you, Eric. Do you have a favorite Bond girl? Um, I, I, I guess if I had to have any, but it would be Haley. Mm. But Barry, but that's a, probably, but that's the last time I saw a Bond oh. film. So. <laughs> I'm inspired so by see. Bond films. <laughs> What's that? I'm inspired by the Bond films. That's what gets me. Yeah. Oh, love them. Well, I used to do a good Sean Connery impression, but uh, it was mostly for uh, uh, Indiana Jones. You call that archaeology? (laughs) Damn it, Junior. That's it. That's my that's my James Bond. Bond Those people are trying to kill us. I know, Dad. (laughs) I know, Dad. (laughs) Happens all the time. (laughs) True to me. (laughs) I love it. Do you have a favorite drug? Uh, yes, the <laughs> Adderall. All right, <laughs> yes, it keeps me focused. <laughs> I'm a, a Pegalo or nice. I'm a I'm an Imodium guy. Imodium AD. Yeah. A world where you don't have to poop is a there world that I want to <laughs> live in. <laughs> yeah, if it wasn't uh, actually, if it wasn't for um, actually having Adderall, it, it, I probably wouldn't have stayed as focused for as long. Um, once I was prescribed it i really kept more focus and it i think it actually helped me improve everything from what i was doing wow Um, just had too much going in my mind you know as an artist you have a lot going on in your head and i just wanted to focus more on the task at hand and ever since then it's been a game changer for me uh, at least trying to be more creative wow 
That's Se- 7,200 or 85 for portraits? Me? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 85, but if I'm outside, the 70 to 200. Mm. I, I like love that. the 70 to 200. The range is, is... I love that compression, but if I'm in the studio, I just don't have enough space for that. Um, I would rather just use the 85. Nice. DX or uh, FX? Yeah. FX. Yeah. Okay. My the ZFC is my first like DX camera since God, yeah, probably 10 years since really? the yeah. The uh but I've I've liked this this the results here on this lens on the or on this camera with the DX. I actually put my Z72 into DX mode the other day with this 200 to 500 with the 2x extender. So I wow. it's possible <laughs> to this bird. Uh, it was that's awesome. cool. Yeah, I got yeah. it really close. Was it was it acquiring focus? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I was I was I was blown away, absolutely blown away with this. Wait, oh, you oh, sorry, you have the you have the two times Z extender. Uh, no. Oh no no no. Sorry. Let's no, no. <laughs> sorry, wrong. Wrong. I'm thinking about I'm thinking about the Z lens. I'm, I'm never mind. Oh no no. It was the uh, 200 to 500 millimeter uh, oh, Nikon okay, okay. lens. Yeah, the other one, the F lens, F mount lens. Um, but I had to have the F mount lens with the F to Z adapter to put onto that times two adapter onto my Z72. Um, but once I did, I was quite surprised at how sharp and in focus everything was. That's, That's great. a lot of stuff on that camera. Mozman, Led Zeppelin or Black Sabbath? Led Zeppelin. Yeah. Led Zeppelin. Yeah, I, I mean Led Black Zeppelin. Sabbath is is awesome. No, Black Sabbath with Dio. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't really. Ozzy, I don't like his voice. Really, dude, Crazy Train. Yeah, okay, all right, I like Crazy Train, <laughs> Mister Mister Crowley. But uh, Ozzy's great; he's a legend. But I think Dio's a better singer. Yeah, I, Dio's got a range, man. He's got a set of lungs, doesn't he? Yep, that's good. So. What is uh, what is your favorite swear? Me? You? Oh, oh, fuck! <laughs> I don't know. He just, he just said it. <laughs> Mahogan. Yeah. Yeah. Favorite swear. Uh, I'll tell you mine if you tell me yours. <laughs> you can even say it in. Is it Persian? No. <laughs> Armenian. You can even say it in Armenian if you want. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, MF. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm a I'm a goddamn kind of guy. That's the I say that through through the nine hours a day that I work, I probably say that ten of the hours. <laughs> <laughs> As a guy that's a photographer, working pro like you, that's uh, you know working and not on YouTube, but you do the TikTok stuff. Yeah. Uh, do you spend time on photography channels on YouTube? Do you watch them? Yep. Yep. Um, okay. I watch yours. I'm a new sub to Chris's channel. Um, Thanks, man. I have, I have a couple of uh, landscape photographers. I really love watching. They're very ins- inspirational. Um, Thomas Heaton. He's, he's great. He's in the UK. Um, I think uh, I have a couple more that I watch just for kind of like information to kind of see if they got something new they're going to uh probably review but that's pretty much about it i don't follow a whole bunch i like a lot of more entertainment uh on on youtube as far as some of the crazy crap you see um Mm. but i like to kind of sit down with some of the ones i'm just subscribed to and now that i have a whole new channel with with chris's i got more to watch (laughs) (laughs) yeah chris you got to check out his tiktoks they're funny i don't i'll I'll, listen i'll download tiktok today i'll download it tonight no, you you posted on your Instagram too, though. Yeah, I, I don't have that either. <laughs> oh, that's true. Is that because you're a cop? You can't have those things. No, I, I certainly oh. can. So when I when I became a I became a cop in 06, 07, let's say 06. and that's when social media was really starting. That's when it was really starting to become a trend. And I had made the decision at the time that, to stay away. I just was like, I don't want to arrest someone and then have them troll me 
you know, on Instagram or whatever. And so then I, I just didn't do it. And now it's like that, that train has sailed <laughs> now. It's, now I'm like an old man now, you know, I've been in law enforcement for what feels like forever. You and do desk work now, right? Yeah. Now I'm an, I'm an admin cop now. Yeah. Nice. I want to, I want to come to your office one day, man. Oh my God. Yes. I'll yes. shoot it. Let's put, let's get you in a holding cell with a drum kit and let's just take the building down. Video camera, How great. are you, my friend? <laughs> Open up the jail cell, my friend. <laughs> jail cell sessions. What's that sound? Jailhouse. Oh, wow. <laughs> my friend, what's your name? Chris. Chris <laughs> Stublo. That is my name. <laughs> And I'm not letting you out there until you play a song. <laughs> God damn it, Chris. Get yeah. me out of here. <laughs> Don't make me come in there. <laughs> God damn it. I think I'm I'm gonna have to start. I'm gonna do another video. I think uh, in a holding cell for fun. <laughs> well, we'll see. Maybe I'll what put movie? the camera in the toilet or something like that. <laughs> what movie is this? Let's see if you know. Uh, I will chew my cookie. No, wait, wait, wait. I will. I will eat my cookie. The whatever the fuck I want. No, no, no. Sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. <laughs> I will splash my chips <laughs> however the fuck I want. I don't know that. Huh? Don't know. You don't know? Don't know. I race. <laughs> no, you guys don't know out there? I do not. I don't. Anyone out there? Big Panther. I Is race it? a thousand. Is it the Pink Panther? It's John uh, John Malkovich. Oh. oh, that's the actor. The Rounders man. You never seen Rounders? Oh, you well, you got to do a Russian accent. What was that? I don't know. Kind of a Russian accent. He beat me. Pay that man his money. I love that movie, man. That Isn't is an cool? amazing movie. If anyone hasn't seen Rounders, go and watch that movie. Hey, Matt that movie. Damon. Yeah. I want to. Um, so I want to. Um, no so i have to kind of get going because it's late i over here almost 11 p.m um, yeah i do too my little girl's crying in the morning for some work we all we we do this we do the uh rapid fires at the end so oh, cool. <laughs> anyway uh eric snyder everybody hey can you tell the audience where to f they could find you on instagram and uh, uh tiktok and stuff real quick Oh, yeah. Instagram is uh, at Eric Snyder Photography and TikTok is at Eric dot Snyder. So it's pretty simple for both of them. Um, and then, of course, the website and everything you just can see in here. Uh, Google me, Eric Snyder Photography. Um, awesome. I'll Google you hard. It's kind of cool um, when you Google yourself and you come up like on the first five pages. But um, I guess it's because I haven't cleared my cache yet. So. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> You know what well, sucks? It you you should Google Chris Stewart and it is it's a curse. It's the worst because there's this dipshit Republican senator or congressman here in Utah named Chris Stewart. Okay. And so, <laughs> so he gets all my press. <laughs> he gets all the bad stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You should change your last name, man, to Stu Blue. Stu Blue. Change my last name. He should well, change his last name. He's uh, the one that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah anyway guys uh eric thank yes. you this was yes. a pleasure uh you know chris always a pleasure you thank know you. thank you, you for too, joining eric. us thank this you. was yeah this was vahography talk number 18 and guys thank you for uh everyone that watched it live this will be replayed on my channel and if somebody wants to drive and listen to us talk Apple Podcast. It will be streamed uh, live on Vahography Rock and Roll Photo Podcast. Dude, that's cool. All right. Apple Mu Apple uh, Apple Podcast. All right, guys. Have a good night. Thank you, sir. It was a pleasure. It was great meeting you, Chris. Thank you, Eric. I am I have been inspired. I truly have by your work tonight. I really have. Thank you. Thank you. And I, I'm now I'm a fan of your your YouTube page now. <laughs> thank you, yeah. comrade. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we have to do something, me and you, one day. Oh my God, yes, right. yes, we will. Yeah, let's do it right now. What movie? Here, name a movie, and we'll make a ripoff of it real quick. 
Name a movie. Dude, I told you I'll write a script. Okay, let's do it. Okay, I, right. I will check my email tomorrow. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. <laughs> yes, Strange Things or Brew. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right, Eric, right, right, get some sleep. All right, guys. Rock and roll, guys. See ya. See ya. Bill and Ted's, we're doing it. <laughs> <laughs>